Good afternoon. This is Tony Shinovsky, President of the Practical Investor LLC. And today is October the 29th, 2008. The name of this article is Seat Belts and Crash Helmets Required. What I'd like to do is uh, just give you an update of today's rally and uh, how it has changed or possibly not even changed uh, my view of the markets. Right now, uh, this rally confirms um, what I've been monitoring for some time, that we needed to have some kind of what I would call a relief rally, something to relieve the uh, oversold uh, tensions in the market and uh, prepare the market for the next decline. I believe we've had that today. In fact, we may have finished up uh, within the last 10 minutes of uh, the uh, market day. We saw a decline of about 30 points in the S&P. Quite a move in just 10 minutes, wouldn't you say? Uh, it came right back down to my support levels that I've talked about in prior talks, which is at about 927 uh, to 930. In fact, the market uh, bounced off 927 and closed at 930 today. Um, this puts uh, the Standard & Poor's and the rest of the markets in a very vulnerable spot. Uh, I believe that uh, we have some very critical news tomorrow about the gross domestic product. This is uh, advanced numbers uh, and not the final numbers. Nonetheless, uh, these numbers uh, appear that they might be uh, quite a surprise to the downside. Uh, with a result of that, I believe that could probably kick off our next decline. Uh, that should last over the next week or so. Uh, what I'd like to do is just uh, let you folks know if you're, if you're prepared for this, if you're a trader and know uh, what you're doing and have some experience here, uh, this is an, a fine opportunity to make profits on the downside. However, if you're not a trader, uh, it would be best to move aside. These markets will be very, very quick, very strong. Uh, this is not something that you want to be long in uh, based on my uh, projections on the targets for the bearish pennant. By the way, the bearish pennant is still active. Uh, we have some new numbers from the pivot number. Uh, we actually, believe it or not, uh, have a target of about 520 in the Standard & Poor's right now and roughly about 5400 in the Dow. So these targets have moved up a little bit from the last time around. Uh, I had mistakenly uh, looked at the pivot point, which is where we measure the, uh, uh, the flagpole move, uh, at a lower number. And I thought that that was the pivot when, in fact, today's uh, uh, high of the afternoon is the pivot for both the Standard and & Poor's and the Dow. So without any further ado, I just thought I'd le let you know that. Uh, this is a market that requires seat belts and crash helmets. Uh, please be aware that uh, there is a exceeding danger in this market. There's a very high likelihood, as I said, in uh, flags at half mast. Uh, very, very good likelihood of the market closing at least once and possibly as many as three times in the next week or so. Uh, it's possible that we may even have it closed for a couple of days. So um, I, I don't know the, the outcome uh, in terms of how long or how often the market might be closed. I just think with a 3,700 point move in the Dow within a very short period of time, uh, the circuit breakers kick in on 1,100 point moves. I believe that those 1,100 point moves uh, can come uh, more than just once or twice. So. Let's just keep that in mind. You, know, you want to make your uh, move fairly quickly. Make sure that uh, if you're in the market that uh, you, you have uh, a safe place to, to put your money uh, for the next uh, a week or two. And then um, uh, stand by. We'll try to keep you updated on what's going on uh, as we progress. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. Uh, I'm not saying uh, using this YouTube video as a guide for professionals. I'm really trying to make this as a guide for um, the uh, average uh, investor who is looking for some kind of guidance in what's going on in the market. Uh, you can reach me by email at tonyc at thepracticalinvestor.com. I'll try to get back to you as quickly as I can. My website is www.thepracticalinvestor.com. Thank you very much for spending the time on this uh, video, and uh, please do the right thing.